Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. And today I'm going to share with you guys something that um, I just found out about about three weeks ago. And that's a source for a high quality port frog. Um, I, I think a lot of you guys know that Uncle Josh went out of business uh, several years ago, but they started making pork again recently. But I just don't like what they've done. It's like the pork that Uncle Josh makes is just, to me, is not as good as it used to be. And actually, I found a new source for pork, actually from one of my subscribers. I'm going to tell you guys all about this. I'm going to show you the frog here and uh, let you know how you guys can get this. Um, real quick, just wanted to give our weekly update. If you guys are interested in any of our Fish the Moment Lake Map breakdowns, uh, Johnny, Matt, Stefan, and myself got a bunch of good new good ones out. We got winter map breakdowns for lakes. We got spring, summer, fall. We can do personal map breakdowns. Just go to fishthemoment.com and you can uh, cruise the uh, lake, ma lake map breakdown section and uh, check them out. It's not only a great way to learn more about the lake you fish, it's a great way to support what uh, myself and Johnny and Matt are all doing. So thanks, appreciate that. Okay guys, I'm going to show you this and I had debated, this is one of those things I sort of uh, debated uh, talking about a little bit. But um, actually I uh, uh, finally got my pork frog order in last week. And I got talking to the uh, the uh, the individual that makes these, David Ennix. He's a a, a former veteran, uh, lives in Kentucky, and uh, actually I just would you know like help like to help uh, uh, expose his product. Um, I bought these myself. I don't have any relationship with them. Um, I I bought them just like you guys do, and I'm going to show you guys what they are. This is this is it. It's the Papa E's uh, pork trailer here. Um, they're, they come in five in a jar here and David, he hand makes these things. He actually showed me, he sent me a couple pictures of him making them and he cuts them out by hand, dyes them by hand. Everything's custom, uh, crafted. And this one here, I had him make me up some jumbo ones like this. This is the jumbo size here in, in the brown. And guys, I just love pork frogs. I mean, look at that thing. It's just a high quality pork frog. You can't get this with with Uncle Josh or anyone else. This is attention to details unmatched on this thing. You got a good uh, wide section of fat right there, heavily scented. Smells just like you know the old pork. You can't you can't beat it here. And it, he's got it in several different sizes, but I like the little bit larger size like here. Um, if you guys want to order some of these, all you have to do is go to his fa his uh, Facebook page. Just go on Facebook and. And put in Papa E's trailers, and um, he gives a phone number there, and you can order them through that. But what I'm going to do here, guys, is I have been I've been looking for a source for port frogs forever, ever since Uncle Josh went out of business. I, I had I had hundreds of them, and they all went bad by about 2004. Um, I haven't had them since then. And there's a time and a place for pork. And one of the things that you guys have followed what I'm doing, I'm working with Baitworks to design a jig. It's called the Blockett's Old School Jig. We're going to be, I'm going to be announcing it. We got a video dropping on this thing within the next week or two. And this is going to be a perfect trailer for the Blockett Old School Jig. And I'll explain why when I, when I show you guys the jig. And there, obviously, I still use plastic trailers a lot. But guys, I'm telling you right now, there are situations where you cannot beat a pork frog for getting bites on a jig and getting big bites. I think you catch bigger fish on pork frog than you do plastic by any, without any doubt in my mind. And um, I plan to do quite a few videos uh, talking about pork as a jig trailer and the applications for it once we drop the old school jig um, and that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to, to share this with you guys again. Uh, Papa E, uh, Pork Frogs, better known, made here in America in Kentucky. Uh, go, like I said, go on his Facebook page, Papa E's Pork Trailers. You can give him a call and uh, you can tell him exactly what you want. He can make them by hand. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait to get these things out there behind the jig this year. It's just, uh, you know, I've been waiting for 20 years for somebody to actually do it. I can't believe it's taken that long for somebody to do it. But guys, this right here, it's a... There's a lot that goes into making a pork frog. This is not as easy as just cutting out a piece of fat on there. It's, there's a lot to it, a um, lot of uh, details and expertise on it that I don't have, but I do have a lot of experience on it. And I can give you guys a ton of tips on pork frogs as far as how to modify them and colors and applications. And that's what I plan on doing. But um, anyway, I just wanted to drop that uh, 
uh, out to you guys. Like I said, I, I ordered these myself on Facebook and bought them, paid for them myself. So I don't have any any motivation other than just wanting to share this with you guys and want to expose it for Dave a little bit. So check them out, Papa E trailers, pork frogs. You won't be uh, you won't be uh, disappointed when you get them. I can't can't wait to use them. So hope you guys are doing good, and we'll talk to y'all later. See it.